people we have a situation there it is a very critical situation it is a development that has been taking place and i'm not hearing no talk about that in the country and that is the rise of BRICS. there's a BRICS b-r-i-c-s the BRICS is a trading block that is actually bringing about its own currency and is going to be a very powerful trading block BRIC stands for Brazil, Russia, India, um, China, and South Africa. BRICS. Now there are some other countries that have that are actually joining the BRICS because it is it is showing itself, it is proving itself to be a formidable organization. You have places like Malaysia, Malaysia and other countries that have actually joined the BRICS or have indicated their interest in joining BRICS. Now, as I just told you, the BRICS is basically a trading block. These countries have set up a trading block where they are going to trade in their own currency. And I think the name of the current currency is something like Yuan, something like that. But they have their own currency that they trading in so remember that the the currency that the world was using the main currency for trade in the in the entire world the main currency was the us dollar you remember that so what they're trying to do these countries are trying to break that where the yuan is going to be the preferred currency for trade globally now if that is if that actually happens that is going to weaken the strength of the US dollar and that is one of the concerns and that is one of the biggest fears that the Americans have at this point now what implication does that have for us in St. Lucia and the Eastern Caribbean well question you should know and you should recall that for many many years the eastern caribbean dollar the ec dollar has been pegged against the us dollar so the us dollar has kept the ec currency stable at 2.71 there about 2.71 so one us dollar to 2.7169 eastern caribbean dollar and that has been standardized that has been stable for many many years now if it is or if at all the BRICS country the, that BRIC trading block and the currency gets to be so strong that it replaces the us the us dollar as the preferred currency for trade in the world again the us commit and the us dollar is going to use val lose value and as a result the eastern caribbean dollar is going to lose value also but these are the things that we need to be hearing these are the discussions that we need to be hearing from the ministers and the people that represent us but what we hear now is a lot of useless talk that has nothing to do with the bottom line the kind of argument that i'm hearing the kind of myth we the kind of useless talk that I'm hearing coming out these days in politics things that don't really change nothing things that does not change the price of coffee that's what you're hearing but we're supposed to be hearing the people that we elect the opposition they're supposed to be talking about what if any effect the BRIC, the BRICS currency and the BRICS trading block is going to have on the economy and by extension St. Lucia but you're not hearing about that and that is so important so important with the way the economy of the Eastern Caribbean and other places um, moving these days if we get a destabilization of the Eastern Caribbean dollar as a result of this trend for the BRICS country it can really bring things in a bad situation it can make a bad situation even worse so these are the kind of things that we want to hear 
discussed. These are the kind of vibes you want to vibe. And this is a very important topic. We want to know what impact the strength of the yuan dollar, the strength of the BRICS country, the, that massive trading block, what effect is that going to have on the man on the streets? We want to know about these things. We want to hear discussions about that. Keep the fire burning.